first podcast of Flight Tales. Woo! <laughs> and so we're, we're with uh, Brennan Go. Hey, what's up, Brennan? What's up? We're going to talk to him about his flight journey. He's uh, about to be a flight instructor. Hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. We're going to get maybe. there. We'll see. We'll yeah. see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. The, don't fail. Yeah. 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 So yeah. anyway, uh, we're here trying to figure <laughs> out how, he, how it went, you know, so far. Going from private, instrument, commercial. Now working on his... Figuring it CFI, out. CFI, maybe. Hopefully. Where do you want to start? Where do you uh, want to, uh, from the very well, beginning? Well, let's start from the beginning. You know, let's, let's, let's go back to when you were a baby. And <laughs> uh, you let's always want to. Day yeah. one. <laughs> when, when I was a when child, I, yeah. I just loved aviation. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> start from the womb. Yeah. <laughs> Figure that out. <laughs> but uh no no uh, that, we'll, we'll move on to like i guess when you definitely wasn't the decided woman. to go get flight lessons the uh, first time i've told you before but i think i've told you before real estate agent in dc my one of not my broker but her husband was a pilot and i, I don't know what airline he flew for but he flew for like 30 years he had retired and when we came back down here we moved back home we I've started real estate again and wanted to do something more than real estate too. Cause, uh, get burnt you know, out. It's, uh, yeah. Real estate fluctuates. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. um, so we wanted to do something else. I actually called him and asked him if I should do it. And he said, well, you probably should have started yesterday. Yeah. So started the whole process looking into it and started doing, you know, discovery flights with uh yeah actually so you came over to, here I, well how'd you find out about us well first i went to do a, a discovery flight with somebody else actually oh we well, won't say their name oh. we're not gonna oh. we're not gonna put them on game yeah on this yeah yeah no let's not talk about those people <laughs> <laughs> but did a discovery flight found out that i liked it went and go do a medical i i just looked it up on the faa website for ones that were around us Went go get a medical with Ronald Jenkins. Ronald Jenkins. Yeah, Ronald Jenkins. Yeah. And he told me, you know him, he talks a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. talks a good bit. Yeah. And I, I told him I didn't know where I was going to go yet. He was like, you would like Ryan. Yeah. And so he called you that day, I think, and he left you. Oh, voice yeah. Mail. Yeah. So, hey, he's just calling to let you know, sitting here with somebody <laughs> that's probably going to come fly with you. So then I was like obligated to Yeah. Go, yeah. He, now you had to come here. Yeah. He told me I yeah. was going there. So yeah. Yeah. You had no up. choice. <laughs> yeah. You had he no put, choice. He put it on. So I had to go. Yeah. And then we went. Yeah. That's how it started, really. And then we got into the first step private, private pilot. pilot. Well, you're a student pilot first. Well, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Get Just it right. learning the private pilot yeah. realm. Yeah, you're about to see it be a CFI. You got to know the route. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm new to this. <laughs> All right, so you came to do a discovery flight. You started your private license. So how was that going through the private license? Come in for private. We started with John. I can remember the first lesson that we had. Yeah. We went to the whole short line, and then we took the runway, mm -hmm. and he was like, all right, take off. And I was like- Oh shit! That's scary. Oh shit! <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. It, it's kind of going from like not knowing a thing. At mm -hmm. least I was. I know there's some people that get into it. They like love aviation. They've already done their yeah. research ahead they, of time. They've, they've probably looked up planes. Yeah. I I didn't even know what a yeah. Cessna 172. You was. know what? I didn't know it either. I don't know what I'm doing yeah. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and that was kind of the the big thing where. For me, was like I'm coming from a place where I didn't know anything yeah. about flying. To like, all right, we got to get it to where you can fly by yourself, fly people around, do all this kind of stuff, be safe. Yep. Um, so that was interesting to say the least. We weren't expecting the first day to be uh, no, taken off. Not to be taken now, off. You should have done that on your discovery flight. Did you do no, no? discovery flight that with the people that I went with? Uh, Oh, oh, yeah. That's yeah, a, yeah. Don't talk about it. Yeah, them. we're not going to talk we're about this. Talk about okay. Them. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but no, we when we went, he didn't let me do anything, but he probably did more than what he should have. Like, we did stalls. Yeah. When I went on my discovery oh, flight. Oh. I will say I asked about it. Wow. But he was like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Oh. And he pulled the power on me. Wow. Did a stall on the discovery flight. I did ask about it. Yeah. 
I did say we don't do just stalls on Discovery flights. No, we try no. to make it fun. Well, he made me feel like a bitch the first. Oh, time. did he? <laughs> he made me feel like a bitch because I was like flying on my Discovery flight, and I'm turning like doing little baby turns. You know, yeah, yeah. When yeah, they first scared. start, I'm like yeah, scared you got of the shit. Death grip on yeah, the yoke. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm going crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I was doing like this 10, is wild. De- Ten degrees of bank. I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I was so I start flying and he, I'm like, do people try and kill you in these things all the time? Like I, 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 for me, I don't know crap, so I know people are probably doing some crazy stuff trying to kill you. He was like, oh yeah, people are always trying to do crazy stuff, but it's usually not people on discovery flights like you that are like all scared and whatnot. And I was like, fuck you, dude. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, like, huh. I was doing little ten degree banks yeah. and whatnot. He was like, usually it's the people that are like private pilots. They learn what the plane can do and they start trying to test the limits and yeah. whatnot. Those are the people that are trying to kill you. Yeah. And uh, I was just like, kind of felt played because I was doing ten yeah. degree turns. Yeah. So like, Screw off, dude. <laughs> but um, anyways, what was I saying? Huh? Before that? Where I, I we forgot were going where we off get, on a yeah, went on a t- discovery flight. So you said on oh. your first lesson, you got to take off, and you were like, "I, why no. am I getting to take off on yeah. this first lesson?" It's because I didn't go to you guys for a, yeah for a discovery. Yeah, flight. yeah, we go let to, you take off. Yeah, we 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 do it. We <laughs> we put you on the simulator first, and then which let is probably you go take, smart. It's yeah. probably better to not, put you on the not simulator. long. I mean, you're on there for like. You know, ten minutes but or so. But at least you can see like what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Before I get on the runway. Yeah. And then I got on the runway. I was like, oh, full power. What are you talking? About? <laughs> are you kidding me? What do I do? What do I do now? <laughs> well, where's the gas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start pressing the rudder. Yeah. To <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it was a lot, you know. Too going back to not knowing anything, we started the second flight, and then we did spins or something like that. The second flight. Oh wow! And not spins. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Spence because I'm about to have to do that. Oh now. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> he's scared. He's he's been he's been postponing the spin lesson. <laughs> I've been putting that off for yeah. a while now. But no, steep turns. We did steep turns on the second day or something like that. It wasn't a lot, but like I got sick. Yeah. I went home. I like called my wife. Called my mom. I was like, I don't know if this is for me. I, <laughs> you start- I was like, I got sick on the second flight. Are you kidding me? I, was like, I can't do this crap. So like not knowing anything about it and not knowing that people get sick sometimes. Yeah. I like doubted if I was going to do it or not. And then I was like, oh, I'll give it one more time. Didn't get sick. Gave it like a fourth flight. Didn't get sick. And I was like, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're back now. in business we're good. now. That's kind of a thing in the beginning, you know. Getting sick. Yeah, getting sick. I, I mean, I remember getting sick on one of the first lessons I was on, but I didn't eat any breakfast. Empty Me stomach. Neither. Just went out there and did. I don't remember if it was the summer or not, but it was probably hot. And we were doing stuff like that. So It'll get it you. happens. It'll get you. It'll get you. Well, I feel like that's the big part, too, Like, because like, nobody told me whenever I first started. It was like, oh, yeah, you may get sick or something yeah. like that. So, like, when I got sick, I was like, come on, these guys don't get sick. Are you kidding me? I'm out here getting sick. So, I thought, yeah. like, it wasn't for me. Yeah. But I, like I said, didn't know anything kept about Kept on going. It. Yeah, kept going. Figured it out. Get you a granola bar or Gave something. Get me a granola bar. Yep. It was weird how it happened, too. Like, I got sick, and then, like, as soon as the wheels touched the ground, I was like, Oh, oh thank, yeah, it's crazy. God, like, <laughs> it's crazy. It just goes away. It just disappears, John, you know? <laughs> John was trying to, like, because, you know, in the beginning, you don't land yet. Yeah. So he was, like, trying to teach me how to land. Yeah. And I swear to God, it was going in this year, going out. Oh, because yeah. I was like. Yeah. Ugh. You're trying to survive. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, starting to burp. I was like, oh, no, please. <laughs> please get us down. <laughs> I'm so scared, man. That wasn't good, but we kept going. It Was Eventually it was it there. a lot of stuff in the beginning? Like, just. A just, lot of the stuff. I feel like any time. Learning. Yeah. In the beginning, when you learn. When you're taking on, especially for me, yeah. didn't know anything, you're taking on all this new stuff all at one time. Yeah. And I mean, you're literally going from not knowing anything about flying to being able to fly a plane by yourself, people with people yeah. from place to place. Like it's a lot to learn. And I did it in three and a half months or something like yeah. that. So it was Yeah, what you start I think you started at I the started end of May. May end of May. But we did, you know, we did the whole thing where I went through the first four lessons. Oh yeah, online. online. Yeah, you did the online. And then after that, I started flying, flying in like June. Maybe my first flight was like very end of May. Okay. Started in June, got it, and into August, like August thirty first or something like that. 
But did you check right? Yeah. Is there yeah. 31 days in August? Uh, yeah, I like think a, so. Like yeah. Thing. yeah. Yeah. Whatever you need to do. <laughs> Something like that. Either think, the 30th think, or the yeah. 31st. Oh, okay. He oh, checked it. There oh, is. There. All right. Well, Dustin checked on it. <laughs> Thank for God. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it's a lot of, in the beginning and a lot of knowledge. A lot of knowledge. Yeah. Bunch of knowledge. Bunch, Bunch of, of knowledge. studying. Because you did it in like two months. Yeah. At the end of August, you did your check ride. Yeah. And that's the hard part too, is that like you're flying a bunch, but yeah. you're, I was flying every day. But you're, you also got to like study yeah. every day too. Like it's not, oh, I fly in the morning. I'm done for the rest of the day. Yeah. Like it's now you go fly. And then after you're done flying, you're probably studying for the rest of the day because you got to get your written done, yeah. which you should get it done as soon as possible. Then yeah. you can actually start studying for your check ride because I mean, it's too different knowledges whenever it comes from yeah. written to check ride yeah i mean check ride you know you you're doing uh, more scenario based questions like yep. written's multiple choice yeah um so you can kind of halfway guess you know to yeah. the right answer but like with the check rod you got to know the stuff and they're gonna dig into it if yeah. you don't know it and yeah. yeah i mean that's what i i got done with my two <laughs> written's for cfi the other day <laughs> i was talking to somebody i was like yeah thank god i got them done now i can actually study He was like you haven't been studying yeah. like you yeah. haven't been studying this whole time i yeah. see you every day i was like no nah, it's, a, it's a different kind yeah. of study it's yeah going from studying multiple choice answers to i i need to understand this 110 percent. so if someone ever asks me a question about it i could answer it and know why yeah, it's the knowing why. Yeah. It's the knowing why. Because if you don't completely understand what you're talking about and you just regurgitate what somebody told you, you know, the examiner is going to dig a hole and find out that you don't know. Dig real deep. On yep. It. <laughs> go He's going to go deep. real deep to where you really don't know. Yep. Well, that's what happened with me on mine. Yeah. On my private, we got, I'll be the first one to say that I'm not good with like mechanical type stuff. Never been a car guy. Never done yeah. none of that stuff. But as soon as we got in there for the check ride, I mean, I knew regulations. I knew airspace. I knew medical, whatever you wanted to ask. But like you got into the medical stuff and the medical stuff. Mechanical. The mechanical Mechan stuff. We're talking about mechanical Yeah, stuff. mechanical. Mechanical. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but once you got into the, the mechanical stuff of like the plane, he could tell that I wasn't as proficient in that and we probably spent a good 30 minutes on just the airplane so yeah know your stuff that the parts that they know you're not good at they're gonna see it and then yeah. they're gonna dig into it so that's their job and yeah i mean find I've, that. I've, I've been through three yeah and they've dug on the the stuff that i don't want them to dig yeah. on they dig on yeah. it every single time yeah. so they're pretty good at it so you got that done at the end of august and uh got your private license Correct. Then started working on the instrument writing. Yep. Went straight into it the yep. next day. That's probably the best way to do it too. Cause I mean, you know, you you're fresh, fresh on the private. And yeah. Like you, you know. know how to fly the plane still. Yeah. It's not like you flew the plane, went for your check ride, stopped for three years, and then yeah. went back and then had to oh, relearn I how do to my fly the plane. Rating. Yeah. Yeah. You no. Know. Like we still know how to do everything. We're yeah. just kind of getting back into it. The thing that I've learned through the whole thing is that, you know. It, for me, at least, it's been better that I went kind of through it fast because mm -hmm. we're, I mean, December now or January. Sorry, just I don't know what. Yeah, January. I don't know where we're at. Lose track of time. Yeah, because, yeah. Not... But we went from June to January, and I'm about to do CFI, and I feel like I've gotten a pretty good grasp of most of the stuff. But it's because I didn't take a break yeah. from it. Like I just went through it and this is kind of what I've been doing full time now. Well, you're here all the time, you know, I think you work here. You, you're studying. <laughs> you think <laughs> yeah. I, work here? I think you work here. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. At yeah, this point. pretty much. I mean, you know, you, you're in here studying. I don't think you were here all the time though for instrument. Like, I mean, meaning that you didn't spend as much time as you do now no, studying and stuff. No. You might've been doing that at home. I don't know. Well, you know? I had that thing where, you know, my wife started and Leon didn't, wasn't in school yet. So, oh, I had yeah, to, I had yeah. To stay you had home. a little hiccup there. Yeah. yeah. So, you had to stay home, home with yeah. Leon and watch yeah. kids and stuff. Yeah. But that's when I knocked out a lot of my tests. Yeah. Like, which was kind of helped. See, I forgot about all that. Yeah. I got through private and then I was like, well, I'm going all the way anyways. I might yeah. as well just get all the written done because I learned in private that the written was kind of holding me back like i yeah. didn't i took way too long to get the written done because like i said the real studying starts after so i was like 
I'll just get all the writtens done. So every certification that I go for or rating that I go for, I'll just study for the check ride. I won't have to worry about the test. Yeah. Yeah. That's so when you started. So after you get the writtens done, that's when you started, I started coming back working here pretty Leon, much. <laughs> working. <laughs> yeah. And then Leon went back to school so I yeah. could do that and whatnot. So And you know, that is the thing that holds up a lot of people is that the writtens, you know, people never nobody wants to study. Screw the written. Yeah. Man. Why do I, mean, I want to study? No. I'd rather fly. And so they do all their flying and they get all their hours and they get ready for check ride. And they're, oh, I got to, oh, wait, oh, I got to do the written. I'd be screwed up if I had to do a written yeah. like a week before my check ride and stuff. I'd probably screw yeah. up. Yeah. But it's, nah, I got them all done. And then I started working essentially here after that. Yeah. <laughs> started coming yeah, here all every the time. single day. And if you're not here, we're freaking out. I, Pretty much. I got your address, so. You know, <laughs> I'll drive by. I'll just drive by <laughs> your house. Make right. sure he's okay. Is he okay? <laughs> Start banging on your Start window. Start rocks yeah. at your window. <laughs> so <laughs> instrument, you did instrument. I don't know how long. How long did that take? That was like the couple check of ride months. Was what, waiting for the check ride is what took longer. Yeah. I got the all the stuff done for instrument fast because yeah. like once you get through instrument the the stuff that you need to learn like the actual course is just time building from yeah there. i got it done in november my check ride was like november 25th or something but i was ready for it the month before that like yeah. the whole month and a half yeah before. yeah i remember we had uh trouble getting uh, an uh, yeah. not it was getting an examiner because i did reserve some time with some examiners but then but that was gapped out too you know yeah so we called yeah. Wow. And we called Law. That's right. We had to like, go, hey, you you had to, go to New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is a Tuesday and he was yeah. like, hey, be here on Saturday. Yeah. Like, that's oh. right. We yeah. To- so well, you couldn't have done that if you didn't, uh, if you hadn't been studying and no. staying and then, on top of it. Well, and that's the, the other thing too is like, even without having the check ride, I still had to study every day because like we didn't know if we were going to have a check yeah. ride. So I just kept studying. So if one did come up, we could just hop right into it. Yeah. And it did. And it ended up paying off because I got it. Yeah. In four days of notice. Yeah. Made me made me a little nervy, but <laughs> <laughs> but we got it. Studied a bunch, but it was fast. I mean, I if we would have had a check ride the day that I finished, I would have probably been like a month and a half or something like that. That's crazy. Yeah. So it's crazy. Crazy. Crazy stuff there. <laughs> so then after after that, you uh, well, you started commercial. I mean, commercial was basically time building. Time building. Because you had to, you were doing all them night flights and flights. Yep. I uh, started that at the end of the instrument. Stuff. Yeah. Started yeah. that at the end of the instrument and going into commercial. Well, yeah. You were flying like twice a day. Yeah. Yeah. Into instrument, whenever the time building started, it was once in the morning to fly. And then study during the day and then at night whenever they didn't have people reserving the planes. Yeah. Because, like, I didn't want to be taking the planes all day from everybody. Yeah. So, I'd try and do them at night to where it, where nobody was flying. So, do one in the morning, one at night. And thank God my wife let me do it. Cause yeah. Yeah. She's, uh, yeah. Didn't want me to. She asked yeah. me like every night. She's, she's upset, like, huh? When's this shit going to be done? <laughs> When's this night shit going to be done? So, but yeah, we got. Aren't you supposed to make a shout out to her? Shout out to my wife. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, shout out to my wife. <laughs> but yeah, so fly, fly twice a day. Once I got through, I did that at the end of the instrument. And then once I got through instrument, I, I kept doing that commercial yeah. but instead of doing a cross country in the morning i was doing commercial maneuvers i was doing oh yeah yeah i would go out i would do all my commercial maneuvers every single morning go through them all make sure that they were good and then at night i go do a cross country to build time and yeah whatnot. by the time that the check ride came around we were good to go squared away because we've been doing go. the maneuvers for the last two months yeah so it was now when'd you do your check ride, you did it with Peyton. Did it with Peyton on, oof, when was it? December? No. I don't know. It was Oh, December. it was the 18th. Yeah, wasn't it the December 18th? 18th. Yeah. Yep. So, no, not for two months, but I was doing them every day. Yeah. I, I would say I was probably doing commercial maneuvers in instrument, too, maybe at the end of instrument. Yeah. Because you can only practice instrument so much. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's like. Yeah, doing yeah, approaches we're tired of this. and yeah, VOR yeah. stuff. Gets kind of boring. You know? It is kind of boring. Yeah. So I was probably doing it at the end of it. At the end of um, 
of instrument too, but I didn't start getting like Ian flying with me until yeah. after instrument to start practicing with someone. But I was doing them every day and had been doing them a couple days, a, a couple. So from say June, I guess. So for six months, you finished pretty much all the way up to commercial. Yep. Uh, now working on the CFI, I got the writtens done. February uh, 13th. Yeah. Is the check ride. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll we get see. through that. Do you think you save money doing like doing it fast like that? Yeah. So like you said, we if I would have taken three years off, like you said, you're going from private. Say you get your private and then you take three years of a break mm -hmm. and then you come back to fly. You're not only going for your instrument, you're trying to relearn the plane too yeah. because you haven't flown in three years. Yeah. So you're you're taking all that extra train training. Yeah, you might get right back into it but you're still having that extra time to build your confidence in the plane back up and then same thing with commercial like if you went for commercial i just finished private yeah we just did all these ground reference maneuvers and then these short field landings soft field landings we just did them and now we're doing them again yeah. i just passed a t to testing standards and i'm just about to do them again three, four months later, you still need to practice yeah, a yeah. bunch, but it's not like you're having to start from ground. Start from scratch. Yeah. yeah start yeah. from scratch and then relearn. Everything. Are you, uh, what, how, so how often did you fly for the private? Like how many? Once a day. Yeah. Once, so five days. Once a day, about five, five days, days of the week. Yeah. Like yeah. a full-time thing. Like, like a full -time Monday job. To, through Friday yeah. in the mornings and then study. Full -time through the job. Yeah. yeah. Full-time yeah. job. Yeah. But full time. <laughs> and then we, we, so we did it like that. I probably would, you can't fly twice a day. I wouldn't say for private. No. It seems, I, you know, and it seems like a lot. I mean, you, you're already learning a ton of stuff. And then if you go twice a day, I mean, you're going to be, you know, a zombie. Yeah. Like you're going to, your brain's going to be mush. Yeah. You don't know anything. You're no. learning all the new stuff. And then, at least for like instrument and commercial, you know how to fly. Yeah. You're just learning the new things that are coming with instrument and commercial. I mean, we have people that do want to like, they want to do two a day, but I always tell them like, take a break in the middle, do a lunch break or two hours or whatever. Yeah. Cause, and then come back. But even then, like you still, you know, you can see them slowly go down, you yeah. know, and they're they get tired. Yeah. They, they get tired. They're, they're not performing well, you know, yeah. like, like they did on that first flight. You know, the second flight, even though they had the break, their performance has gone down even more. So, you know, you, you're you talking to them and they're not even paying attention. Pretty much. Or, or like, like, you know, John talking to you on landings, you know, people don't pay attention, especially on that first flight. You no, know, I don't know what I'm doing with half the stuff going on. You know, on. that's why I say right rudder all the time, because, yeah. you know, people ain't listening and they're yeah. not putting in the right rudder. And so I just said right rudder, you know, right I mean, rudder. Those, the right rudder. Put that right rudder. Those, beginning, those <laughs> beginning stages, you got to make it pretty stupid yeah. for people. I mean, yeah. it's like. You know, you want to do some ground before you go out because there's this, you're not going to listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. Then also, you may not even have any idea. What we're going to do, like I, steep turns, you know, if I don't do any ground, I mean, that's kind of an easy maneuver, I guess. Uh, but stalls, you know, if I don't do any ground ahead of time before we go do stalls, yeah. you're going to have no clue what to do. Scared and, if I, and scared. Yeah. <laughs> and then me trying to tell you while I'm in the plane is, you know, even worse because you're not going to really follow what I'm telling you. Well, that's what I would like to Push say nose to John. Down. Like, John, we do instrument stuff. We'd be flying. John would tell me like all this stuff in the plane about like an, an arc, yeah. like it, flying an arc now isn't hard, but yeah. like flying an arc for the first time yeah. and having someone trying to explain it to you while you're doing it. It's like, I would, I'd be like, let me fly this yeah. GPS little line right now. <laughs> and then we'll talk about it more when we get down. Cause like you got so much going on that your brain just isn't taking in anything that they're saying. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Just that's arc. why I say it all the time. Yeah, right, right rudder. rudder. In nobody, the arc. nobody push it. Yeah. And, <laughs> in the arc. <laughs> in the arc. <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to do, you you know, you got to do the classroom stuff so you can even show, like pull the, the chart up and show like, all right, this is what we're going to do. This is the plan. You know, well, I'll show you how to do it in the airplane. And the other thing that you said the other day too was we were talking about it where like one of the things I did wrong in private was like I thought 
I could study because I did the online course. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to just study everything. Like yeah. I'll study everything and I'll know what to do. Mm-hmm. And I, when the oral comes, I'll be good. But you don't know what to, like, you don't know. Yeah. You don't know you don't what, know what to you don't study. Know. Yeah. You don't yeah. know what you don't know. And y'all obviously have been through it. So y'all yeah. know. So like if I could have done more ground, even with the online course, I would have been better because yeah. I'm in here every single day that's when i started to get a true yeah understanding of everything yeah you were sitting in on other people's yeah, sitting in on grounds. other people's grounds listening to explanations and just doing it over and yeah. over and over and hearing people the instructors explain it because you, like i said they've done it they've that's, been that, through it that's why you got to do also a mock check right you know like before so if you go through the oral exam guide you read everything and you know, that, that book's got a bunch of answers, like long explanations. Very. Yeah. Like and some out <laughs> off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. No, I've looked through it. Yeah. It's, it's like, what the hell is this? Yeah. Yeah. But if you go through that, you've got to have an instructor that's going to question you because, yeah, you might have read it, but you may not really have it yeah. in your mind yet. I mean, you'll sit back there with Ian. You'll watch them yeah. with students that say, oh, I read the whole book. Yeah. And they'll open the book and they'll start reading question number one. Yeah. And they're like, I don't know. Blank out because yeah. they don't know. It's like a difference between reading it and then knowing yeah. it. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was the one thing I wish I would have done is came in more to during in the beginning because in the beginning, I kind of just was like, oh, it's all I can me. do it. Yeah. I can do I it. I can I'll do st- it. I could do it all by myself. Yeah, I can do it by myself, <laughs> but it's a humbling process. Yeah, yeah no, you, you can't. Don't know. You can't. You don't know. You don't what know you don't know what you don't know. So yeah, six months. That's pretty quick. The CFI. I mean, you already work here, so you're probably just <laughs> roll into <laughs> roll into teaching some students after that. You know. Yep. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, you just start rolling into. Yeah. It. Phone's yeah. going crazy. Oh, Sorry. Oh yeah. Sorry. Don't let that interrupt our podcast. Why don't you have it on airplane mode? Edit that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. You got to be careful. It might mess up all this while equipment, while you know, if you, because you got a phone call, it might just. Flight sales. If you've made it this far, you've listened to the entire episode. And for that, we would just like to say thank you. And we hope you enjoyed it. We would also like to thank today's guest, Brennan Go, for joining us today and sharing his story. If you have any questions about today's episode or suggestions for future episodes, just leave a comment or message us and we'll do our best to answer. If you'd like to check out some fun aviation videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Owens Flight Training. Or if you'd like to get more information on becoming a safe, knowledgeable, and confident pilot, just head over to our website, owensflighttraining.com. 